Hello and welcome to episode four of the Mukuru Moments first season. I'm Kelly and today, as usual, we have Michael Ashley on the line and Tyler Wilson. Hello. And we also have special guests from the Kota Mukuru Mobile team, Elena Tofalori. Hello, Elena. And um, Ruth Ringham. Hello. <laughs> um, so we are here today to talk about the theme today, or Ruth and, and Elena are here today to talk about to th the theme of today's episode, Mukuru Mobile. Um, so we have them visiting with us, and we're doing these webinars every two weeks throughout the fall and the winter. Um, the full schedule is on premier.mukuru.org slash webinars. And we'll send out invitations regularly. So if you have topics you'd like to cover, please let us know and we'll do our best to accommodate. And it's a work in progress, so let's make this as useful as possible. So to give you a little history about Mukuru, over the last four years we've worked with some great sponsors and had a fantastic development team um, to make Mukuru happen. We'd like to give a special shout out to Canopy Studios who are leading the current efforts to make Mukuru 2.0 a reality. Um, by January 2015. Most of all, I would like to acknowledge the remarkable people and organizations around the world who are providing active development efforts, funding, volunteerism, and general goodwill to help towards this grassroots project. And also, more important, well, just as important, uh, you all, the many hundreds of individuals and organizations who wish to join the Premier program. Um, as people start joining us, some general housekeeping notes. Um, I do want to remind everyone that this session is being recorded and will be av made available on um, premier.mukadu.org slash webinars. Um, we'll also, um, if you have any questions, please submit them in the dialog box in your GoTo training window, and we'll get to them at the end. Um, also, we are live tweeting this through Twitter, so you can add any questions to at Team Coda, and Tyler will deliver all the questions. Um, and he will be bringing questions from both this chat dialog box and either of the Twitter forums. So at this time, do we have any questions to start out with? All right, let's move along. Okay, so uh, here we are. We're at the agenda. Um, thanks for sticking out with us. Um, after this, we're going to spend a couple minutes talking about Mukuru CMS 20 or 2.0 coming in January 2015. And then I'll hand the mic over to Ruth and Elena. Um, by the way, Elena has come all the way from Italy to California to be with us this month. So it's a pretty awesome moment. Um, Elena and Ruth are going to do a quick demo of the Mukuru mobile app. Um, show you how to use it and where you can find resources. Then we'll do an interactive session all together where everyone will have a, a chance to demo the app on your own devices in live time. So our outcomes for today, um, everyone will learn about Mukuru Mobile and know how to upload stories to premier.mukuru.org or any site with Mukuru Mobile enabled. You'll know how to help find help and resources for using mobile, both in the app or through mukadumobile.org. And we're going to take some time to uh, walk through this all together. So we'll answer your questions and talk ideas in real time. So with that, we're going to talk about Mukadu 2.0. Um, Mukadu 2.0 is the new release coming up of Mukadu CMS. Uh, the Mukuru 2.0 team is in active development with key funding from both the Institute of Museum Library Services, the IMLS, and the National Endowment for Humanities, the NEH. Um, several members of the development team are also here with us today from Canopy Studios, and we'll be hearing more from them in a future episode. But today I'd just like to mention some of the major goals of 2.0. Um, which are pretty awesome. We're going to have a one-click installable um, hosting through pantheon.com, getpantheon.com, where you'll be able to get your own Mukuru website just with the click of a button and a quick install profile. And then um, the code will also be fully sourced through github.com and drupal.org. 
Um, we're de redefining access protocols and content management and trying to make it as true to the archival media management workflow as possible. Um, Mukadu Mobile will also be integrated through a toggleable button where you can turn on or off mobile for your individual sites. So with that, it's coming in January 2015. And we'd love for your help to help us make Mukadu 2.0. So you can help by commenting and contributing any feedback. Um, if you'd like to test, please email and let us know. Um, we love user testers and plan for the future. So we'll be talking a little bit more about Mukadu 3.0. I know it's really early uh, in our next episode and the, um, the grassroots project in general that is Mukadu CMS. Are there any questions at this time? All right, thanks all for joining us. Let's uh, go back to the agenda really quick. So we've gone through uh, the introduction to the webinar, some housekeeping. Um, we've reviewed our agenda once, and I spent a couple minutes talking about Mukadu CMS 2.0. Um, so with that, I will hand the pre presentation over to Elena, who's going to talk a little bit about Mukadu Mobile right now. And Elena, you're going to have to help me. There's three Michaels on the line. so Yeah, I'm one of the Michael Ashley's. So okay. <laughs> Let me know if you have control. Yes, looks Thank like you. Thank you. Oh, okay. First try. So we will be talking about the Mukurdu mobile app today, which is um, an authoring tool that we offer along with Mukurdu CMS um, to allow users to create content for their community website off on the go, to create content while they're offline, and just to leverage their mobile devices for creating, capturing media, and tell stories about them. Um, the Mukuru Mobile is currently in its 2.0 release, and it's available for both phones and tablets. This is the new the news for 2014, um, and it's available for both. Wait, no control anymore. <laughs> Click. Try this. Now, yes, <laughs> it couldn't work at the first try. <laughs> Um, and yeah, and it's available for both iOS and, for, and, uh, and Android devices. And your one-stop shop for information about this product and project would be the website, mukudubomobile.org, where you can download the app, um, you can uh, view mobile stories submitted by other users, and you can find links to all of the support resources we've put together for the Mukudu community. Um, and even log in here, log in to this site, as we will see, uh, for trying the app out on this very site. So if you scroll down the support to the support section of the site, you will find buttons that link you to um, two main services. One is our support, online support page that includes FAQs and community help topics um, and our contacts. And you may already be familiar with this format um, from the Mukuru CMS help um, page. And the other one is our collection of tutorials on YouTube, most featuring Ruth Ringham, who is here today as a narrating voice. Um, yeah, and later in our demo today, Ruth will show you how to find these same um, help, uh, help and support resources right from the app. So that's an option too. Um, so let's move on to the core Mukuru mobile features. Um, the core operations that the app will allow you to do. Um, first of all, seamless integration with Mukudu CMS, which means you'll be able to log in with your Mukudu site's URL, username, and password, so there's no need for additional accounts or anything. And once you've logged in, you'll be able to create digital heritage items. That's the main thing that you can do with Mukudu Mobile. So, Digital heritage items are the, the content atoms for Mukuru CMS, or like we call them in our tutorials, digital stories around your media. Um, and these stories will include um, the Mukuru CMS standard set of metadata fields, a subgroup 
of the fields you see in the portal, on the portal when you're creating content through your browser. And for the same reason, you'll be able to set access permissions based on your existing communities and cultural protocols because the app will be fetching those values from your website, from the website you've logged into. Another thing is that once you've successfully logged in through the app, you can walk away and continue collecting content offline and you will only need to be back under a working internet connection, of course, when you want to upload your content, um, to your stories. Um, then you'll obviously be able to add media from your phone's gallery, phone or tablet. Um, and media types that, that are currently supported are audios, images, and videos. Um, and for images, in 2.0, we were able to add full EXIF metadata support, which will preserve a lot of information about your images that your phone or tablet creates, uh, but that is rarely retrieved or even visualized by users, and is usually completely lost when you use an editing tool or a sharing tool, uh, the other apps. Um, for audio, we've designed an internal audio recorder just because not every mobile device has apps on it for um, that allow to capture audio. Um, you know, Im images and, vid and videos be more common, um, even though it's technically possible on most devices to capture and record audio. Um, and finally, videos uh, will be hosted on YouTube once they're uploaded, so you will be requested to log into your um, YouTube account if you wish to add videos. So then for any story you can record geopositioning, um, either your current one or you can edit position on the map if you wish to have a different one. Um, and finally, right within the app we added internal documentation sections as well as links to the online um, support resources that we've seen earlier. So up here oh, I'm showing you the main screen of the app and Ruth will go over this too, but up here there's a little gear icon and if you click on that, this is our settings section and there's a whole help section. And there is where you find link to the online support and video tutorials. Um, so the last thing I'm going to talk about is what your first step would be for using Mukudu Mobile and which options you have for testing and using the app. As we have seen, in order for Mukudu Mobile to work, you need a valid user and password to an existing Mukudu CMS powered site. Um, so where are you supposed to log in? Um, as we will see in, in the hands-on part of our demo today with Ruth, the Premier website has been enabled to work with mobile. So if you already have your own login to Premier, you can use that and the URL will be premier.mukudu.org um, to log in through the app. Uh, if you're not a Premier user yet, another easy and quick way to, um, to try the app is to log in to our demo site um, and get started instantly creating content and accessing all of the available features. So this is the one you should use, you know, suggest your friends <laughs> who really want to try out Mukuru Mobile or if you don't have your login to Premiere yet. Um, and it's really easy, you can see it here, mukudumobile.org, demo, demo, but we've decided to make it even easier. Um, so, yeah, we have a button. Uh, if you see, this is the login form, and down here we have need help to log in. And on this screen, we have a button that says try demo login, and, we'll, and it will just take you back to the login form, and it will already be filled out with the correct data. So you can retrieve this um, login information at any time. And if you would like to try Mukudu Mova on your own Mukudu site, which is what we suggest eventually everyone does, um, at this time, we're still asking people to get in touch with us and request enabling mobile on their site. Um, for now, so you, your next step would be to send us an email um, at support at mukudumobile.org requesting mobile to be enabled on your existing Mukudu CMS uh, powered site. Or if you're in the process of being assigned a site, just request that mobile is enabled before it's handed over to you. So Kelly will do her magic and get it done. 
And one last thing is that if you're using our demo sites, either Premiere or mukudemobile.org, of course you need to remember um, and be aware that content that you upload on these sites might, may be seen by other users and that we're, doing, we're going to do housekeeping and cleaning up the site regularly, so it can be deleted. And that's all for my part of the demo. I'll just leave you with the important links that we've mentioned today um, and open it up for questions and then we'll have more time for Q&A at the end of Ruth's live demo. So if there's anything that you would like to know. I think we were having some questions during um during the um, demo, but um, a couple of questions were um, can we log in and try to use the app? And I think that's what we're going to be doing in, in yeah. just now with Ruth. Um, and then demo demo is the login for mukadumobile.org. And Elena, you also mentioned you can use your Premier login. Um, and if you don't have a Premier login but want to use the Premier website to upload, you can also use demo demo at premier.mukudu.org. Um, so, and then, uh, yes, Helen, um, we'll follow up with you later, um, but you can use the, the Premier site with your current login to um, get those those mobile stories up. All right. So. Okay, so I'm going to take over now. Um, I've, I've been uh, one of the, or one of the user testers for Mukutu Mobile since its very beginning. And what I'm going to do is to, um, I'm going to take you through a workflow on, on the iPad. Uh, mostly, most of the screenshots that you saw in Eleanor's presentation were for the, on the iPhone. I'm going to take you on the iPad and point out some of the features that Eleanor um, showed you. So first of all, I'm going to be logging in to um, the Mukutu Premier site. And for this, you should remember only put your root URL. Don't put anything after the first slash. Um, then I'm going to, of course, I have to have internet access while and Wi-Fi while I'm logging in. But after this, I, after I'm going to log in right now, I could go offline if I wished, and I would remain offline forever and ever until I logged out, even if I closed my device. So if you want to log out for some reason, security reason or other, um, you should go up to the little gear, gear icon up in the top left-hand corner and go to login again, and here you'll see you can log out there. I'm actually not going to log out because I want to show you some things, but you could log out there. Um, while we're here, let me just show you, um, this is where the help, that um, the online help or the on-device help will, sh will um, help you get to some support and including the videos online if you happen to be on internet access. So uh, coming back then to the main interface here, I'm going to, um, you can work alongside me if you like and log in, but there'll be a chance later um, when, when I finish this, work for, uh, this um, workflow, I'm going to give you the chance to work with me um, and work alongside me later. So first of all, I'm going to create, I'm going to, um, Put a click on the plus button, the create button in the bottom left hand corner. And um, here you can see immediately we get, you get the chance to put in a title. Um, you can create a story with a video, a photo, or audio, or just text. So, first of all, you want to put a title in. And I'm going to call this Tonga Wales, since that's what I have to write a story about. So Tonga Wales, and I'm going to um, click, on the, um, click on the camera icon, which will bring me up with various options to um, click to create a new photo, and I'll do that a little later, or to choose a photo that already exists and is on my device or in my photo stream, 
or I'll choose a video which I will show you in a second or an audio. So I'm going to choose a photo that already exists and it's down here and I'll choose one of these wonderful photos of humpback whales in Tonga and I'll choose an I can create as many photos or videos as I wish to illustrate this story. So I've got two images here and um, before I go any further I'm going to fill in the various metadata fields over on the right. This includes all of the community um, communities, cultural protocols and categories that I have imported when I logged in from a Mukatu Premier site. So I'm going to click here uh, Center for Digital Archaeology Community and the Sample Community. I'm going to make it public for public um, viewing and for the webinar series so that anybody who's um, clicking on that will get to see these and I'm going to uh, make it animals is, as a category. So um, after that, I could add a description um, as just as a text file, as a sort of series of texts. Tonga is full of humpback whales. That you can swim with. And then cultural narrative, and then keywords. Again, the cultural narrative will be a little di different from the description. It will be more about the importance, perhaps, of whales to the people of Tonga, um, and more about um, the, the issue of swimming with humpback whales and their babies and so on. Keywords, again, um, are just up to you, and they may be some standard ones you have or not. So I'm, now I'm going to save this, but um, you'll notice that the location for my Tonga whales are in Larkspur, just where we're all standing, which is not very satisfactory. So I'll click on the Tonga whale um, icon again so that I can edit my uh, story here and edit specifically the location. For that, I'm going to click in the editing icon here of the map. And here I can put in an address or I can shift the, I can also drag the um, little pointer, the little pointer to the specific place on the map, but Tonga's a bit far away to do that. So I'm just going to write Tonga uh, search and assume it's going to find me in the right place. Actually, it is in the right place. It's here in the middle of the South Pacific. Oops, it actually needs to be. It actually is in the right place, interestingly enough, um, because it's Tonga is a number of islands and it's in an island there, um, which does is so tiny you can't see it on the map. But I'll make sure this is right. I'm going to save the location. And now I'm all set, um, but I'd like to add a video. So for that, um, I'm going to first save it and then I'm going to go up to the little wheel, the, the little gear um, settings icon up here in the top right and I go to preferences. And now I have to log in, in order to upload my video, I have to log in to YouTube and bear with me while I do that. Um, <laughs> What's it doing? Okay. Oh, it's showing you my password. That's okay. You're welcome to it. Okay, so I accept these things that Google want me to do. And now I'm ready to import 
a, an image. So I'll click on create again, click on the camera. Oh, sorry, I did that wrong. Um, cancel. I can always do that. Yes, exit. I need to go back to my Tonga image. Okay, so here I'm going to add to my Tonga story. Click on the camera, choose a video. I'm going to choose this small video of a whale. I'm going to use that one. And now I don't know if you want to say something a little, Eleanor, while we're waiting for the uh, video to upload about the use of videos in Kutu Mobile. You can see the whale now. Um, yes, so first of all, um, you can add the video even if you haven't logged into um, to the to YouTube, you can upload the story. So if you try to upload the story, of course, you will get a warning. That's the first thing. Um, and then, yeah, it takes a minute to import because the application is compressing the video. Um, it's compressing it using the standard YouTube um, compressing engine. <laughs> so um, it's it's really high, pretty good quality. I've seen on an iPad. On an iPad, it could be it's really high high definition when you it's still high definition when you upload it. But of course, some compression is necessary to get it ready for the web. And this one is why, sorry to interrupt. This one is already uploaded. So yes, I'll go ahead still with the continue the demo and we can answer more questions about the video during the question and answer session. So I'll save this again and just check on my story once more. It looks lovely. Save again. And now what I can do is to either create another story by clicking on the Create Plus button, or I can delete this story by um, clicking on the Edit button down here, in which case you'll see there's a, a next to my story now, now is this little minus thing. And I don't want to do that. So I'll do done. I'll click on the edit button and do done. Actually, what I want to do is to upload this story to the uh, Mukatu Premiere site. So I'll click on the upload button. And you'll notice that it syncs first, and then it uploads my story. It syncs to check that categories and communities and cultural protocols that you've used in the story has, haven't been changed on the server. So in that case, you would get a warning and you would have to go in and edit your story again. That's, you know, to make sure while you were walking offline, nothing changed. And to make sure you didn't forget to do something. Yeah, right. Okay, we're almost done. Look, it's one of one. There we go. Upload complete. And we've got the well done message. Excellent. And you'll notice that the story has now disappeared from Mukatu Mobile. When you upload it, it's not saved to your Mukutu, to your device anymore. So you might be worried. So check on, on the website. And to do that, you can check on your website by clicking on the I in the top left hand corner. And that's going to take us to the Mukutu Premier website. And if we scroll down, we should be able to see Tonga whales. And there they are. Let's click on this story. There they are. Um, the video is the video come through. Yes, I don't see it. Oh, yes, there's the video. And so there's my little tiny description, which when there's not very much. And you can see on the right hand, all of the uh, metadata has been filled in automatically. And so that's the main part of what I wanted to show you in a typical workflow for Mukatu Mobile. So now we'll pause a little and invite people to have questions first. And also while we're doing questions, um, to log in to either the demo site or the Mukatu Premier um, site with a demo demo um, login, whichever you wish, or if you've got your own site to, to log into that and work along with me, I'm going to create an audio file in this case.
Are there any questions first that we need to address right away? I saw a couple coming up, right? Okay, I think they were um, answered as we go along, but let's just um, review. We had, um, Elena had commented that the media also has its own metadata. Um, so when we're in the site, we can click on the metadata, and if you export from the site, the metadata is preserved, um, uh, including the position of the photo, if you have that um, enabled on your um, device, mobile device, um, just take geolocations. Um, can the geoposition be made private? That's a great question, Sandy. Um, the geoposition from Mugudu Mobile can be moved around and made private. Um, you can also go into your site and delete the geoposition, but as we said, the, the media item, when it's um, taken on your phone, usually the phone um, writes into the metadata what your geolocation is. So that would be a phone setting to switch if you don't want the metadata preserved on that image. Um, yeah, that's actually a really important question yeah. that we get many times. So we can do a Mukadu moment on how to tell your phone to not take those geolocations if that's preferred. As for um, the story, it does include um, a position. Um, so what we suggest is just that, that you apply cultural protocols that restrict access to the story. So it wouldn't be a setting that you have on a field basis, but on the whole content. Right. Um, is there a sort of approval or vetting process for uploaded stories? Um, that's a great discussion, Gary. Um, I, it's a really long discussion, but if there was a vetting process for you, um, for your community personally, I would probably create a strict cultural protocol um, for mobile stories or for stories that need to be vetted and place that cultural protocol on that story so um, that they're not made public until uh, you're, you're either ready to yeah. or if you choose to keep them private, you can keep them. Um, within the community. But you want them. to set set up those protocols um, and communities on your website right? so, so yeah, that they get transferred to look at your mobile. If you have a contributor that you want to submit content for approval, you should add those contributors to that cultural protocol only so that they, when they access the same interface, they only get access to the communities and cultural protocols that they are members of. So if I am only shared to the open and public um, cultural protocols, say, I would only get those two right. here on the right. Shall I just do um, work along with you all? Do you want to try doing an audio, um, like a little audio story? I've started one here called Interview with Kelly, who's standing on my right. <laughs> First of all, I'll take a picture of her. I went in, um, clicking on the camera icon and put new photo and poor Kelly has to suffer me doing this again. There we go, very nice. Okay, Kelly, let's uh, use photo. And there it is, lovely photo. And here I'm going to click on the camera icon one more time and choose new audio. So this is my interview with, I click on, as usual, on the red re uh, record button. So Kelly, what do you think of swimming with whales in Tonga? Is it terrible or is it good for the whales? You know, that's a longer discussion that I, <laughs> <laughs> I personally haven't, I, I don't know the implications of humans swimming with whales in Tonga. I'm sure it would interfere with their migratory patterns, um, but I'm no expert on the subject. I think that it would be, make for a very cool vacation, though, and I would love to do that. It did. <laughs> I put end, and don't forget to put save, mm -hmm. and when I write, uh, click on save on the audio button, there is my, in, there is my um, little audio file, uh, and don't forget to put Center for Digital Archaeology, uh, my sample community. I think I'm just going to do this webinar series. 
and I'll put it as animals and events in its categories. I don't have time to write um, keywords. Did any of you manage to do the same kind of thing that I was just doing? Don't forget to write save. Did anybody try creating a story yet? Nobody. We did get a question about the audio format. Good. And yeah. actually, Gary, after your Sustainable Heritage Network presentation, I immediately texted Elena and I said, Elena, you have to make sure that the videos aren't encoded in MP3. And I believe we have a preference. Do you mind if I? No, do. Um, yeah, so no, they're actually encoded in MP4. No, those are images. Oh, OK. And the so reason is iOS can't produce MP3s. They have this. <laughs> so that's the only format that was, you know, easily compatible with the web services that we're using and compatible with both um, operation operating systems, Android and iOS. Okay. And we know we could be better, but as always, you know, when, when it comes to storing in the app and then uploading and when mobile is, is involved, storage is a great concern. And, the size of files really matters. So we decided to go with MPEG-4 for now, but it's like everything in Mukulu, it's an open discussion. So it would be good to hear everybody's thoughts on that. And for sure, you know, you might know a lot more than we do. Um, MPEG-4 audio. So Helen, did you uh, manage to upload your story once you added the community or category and category. Okay, so um, would anybody like to to take the question on what's the difference when you're going to uh, fill in the description and when you're going to fill in the, um, the cultural narrative. Cultural narrative. Um, I can try and tackle that. It, uh, description and cultural narrative might change from community to, to community. Um, the difference being that the description um, was initially there to accommodate the actual description record if the record was coming from an institution. So you could write a vague description or summary about the actual media items themselves. Um, the cultural narrative is um, a story or a personal um, account of what the, what the video or media means to you or the story would mean to you or your culture. Um, so, so it's, yeah. And then there's also when you go into uh, Mukuru, there's a traditional narrative or traditional knowledge field, right, which would provide any contextual knowledge about maybe whales, um, whales in are the, hunted in the larger for context or, yep. lover, or right. what that's the what larger the Japanese would like to do, right traditional context of your um, so Eleanor are there are there plans to add the traditional knowledge um, tab at all to yeah yeah I think it used to be there and then we removed it when you add, when we added keywords mm -hmm. so we're just evaluating um, at this time which fields are being used more and you're all welcome to express your preferences right. And Mukadu Mobile is really for on the go, so we didn't want to overload it with too many metadata fields right. um, because then it wouldn't be very according in the field. Yeah, but, one of the um, reasons I guess why we don't have traditional knowledge here is that we tried to see which fields were really for the author to fill out and which were more, you know, could come from a conversation later once the item has been uploaded and traditional knowledge is one of those meaning that I as the author of the content could have something to add there but it's also something that you know my group members could contribute to so of course the the items are you can still edit your stories while they're on what while, while they have to be uploaded and then once they've uploaded like everything else on Mukuru, um they can be edited through the web through the browser so you can 
do that later or that permission to other users in your community? One of the things that um, I found useful when I was um, working on the Mission Murals website uh, in the field, we were out, uh, we didn't have, we didn't have Wi-Fi or anything. And um, I'm out, out there creating stories about the different uh, murals in the San Francisco Mission area. And um, it was that you could, you couldn't, you had to save uh, um, if you wanted, rather, let me start again. You had to fill in your communities and your cultural protocols and categories in order to save the story, but but the cultural narrative and the description and the keywords could all be added later, even in Mukatu Mobile, before you upload the story. But you once you're sitting down somewhere and can write something longer, so that was that was pretty convenient. I found. But it was always a, a, um, a question for me, what should go in the description and what should go in the cultural narrative. But you've answered that pretty well. Thank you. Should we upload? Or oh, yes, let's. Uh, Julie is asking if you can go back and show how to create an audio. Oh, Maybe sure. Do that real time. Yeah, we just upload this. Sure. Okay. So um, let's create another story. Give it a title. Um, okay. So um, you click on the camera and choose new audio. And here you'll see that you've got um, the red button to start recording and the uh, mic level will show obviously. And that's, that's the only thing you have and you can see how long it takes. So um, what, what Eleanor has suggested also, I think, and it's a good idea, or maybe it was Kelly, that you take a picture to represent your, your recording first. So let me just come out of this recording. And yeah, the for that is the thumbnail. Once the content is uploaded to uh, right. the site, uh, the thumbnail for the content will be whichever media comes first. So for audio, you've seen there's the white, the little white icon with the micro, microphone on it. So you don't have to take a picture on each on each um, story. You know you can have only an audio. And for videos, we generate a thumbnail to represent the video as the thumb as the uh, thumbnail for the content. So um, we do that. But you know if you've got a nice a nice image about the same topic that you'd like to share along. Um, think of this as media collections around a topic, around a, um, a story, instead of, you know, a single media. And okay, so I'm... You know, the image Ruth, while you're viewing it. I was just going to take a yeah, selfie. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Too much stuff. Um. <laughs> I want to... I'm, anyway, never mind. <laughs> Okay, use photos, be horrible. I'm not going to upload this, by the way. So then, now I'm going to um, choose new audio, and I'm going to click on the recording. And I love to swim with whales. It was a mind-blowing experience, and it doesn't harm them at all. So there, that's, and there you can see your little, I clicked on the save. If you don't click on, remember to click on the save, but go straight back to um, your Mukatu interface, then you will lose that recording. Yeah, this is only on iOS, Ruth. It's because it's actually a, um, an additional feature that iOS offers. It's not, it doesn't depend on us. It's a standard component that we've used in iOS, and it allows you to stop your audio and restart recording. So that's what the two bars are for. Um, Android doesn't let you do that, so you just stop. Right. You know, it's one take, 
But here, since you can do more than one take in the same audio, you have to remember to click save. Oh, that's that definitely take you out of the rec uh, of the internal recorder and save your audio. Okay, that's good to know. So anyway, this would be um, did that answer? Who was it who asked the question? Jason. Jason. Uh, Jackie. Anyway. Oh, uh, Julie. Julie, hope Sorry. that. <laughs> Did you try doing it, Jack? Julie? Got it. She's done it. Excellent. I'm actually going to get rid of this story before it's ever going anywhere. So I click on the X and I say, yes, exit. Should we go see what that, what's on the site? Yes, let's go and okay. see what's on the site. Click here. Oh, you can just click the eye icon up there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So it looks like Michael's created a related item to he's probably logged in again and created this related item on the interview. And if we click the more media items, this is the audio so we can So Kelly, what do you think <laughs> of swimming with whales in Tonga. Is it terrible or is it good for the way? You know, that's a longer distance. Yes. <laughs> so it's MP4, M so MP4 it's format. Right. Yeah, and with um, Mukuru CMS 2.0 next year, we'll have better handling for all the media right. online, all the mm -hmm. media. We'll have better players. Right now it's like treated, yeah, treated like that. Did anybody Michael upload this? Michael too? has uploaded his rehearsal. I wanted to show Ruth how the... Um, I don't see Julie's. It must be... Um... Did she maybe do on the demo Mukatu Mobile? Have a look on the Mukatu Mobile site. Um, or did well, she, I think, is she on Premiere? I think maybe, uh, maybe, maybe Michael is logged in as an admin. And uh, I can't see Julie's because it's under cultural protocol. Oops. Oh, there it is. Yay. <laughs> Julie Wonderful. did an interview selfie, too. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Well, she said, let's look at the audio. OK. <laughs> Just a super quick uh, test of the audio. Wonderful. So this on October 8th, Wednesday, 2014. Thanks. And, um, Julie, Julie, when you log in, you have um, a couple buttons, extra buttons up here. You should have an edit button, and when you go into edit, you can also delete that. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it, but <laughs> oh, there you, you are. And you were in Rochester. <laughs> can you show Kelly one of the? Um, if you click on one of the images in one of your items, um, we can show how all the. All the all of the metadata is maintained. Oh sure, right. So um, Mukuru only displays a few, but if you download the file, they will only all be there. Uh, all of the fields that your phone supports, so right. all of the fields that your phone embedded into the image, which is usually more than you think. Mobile is really under altitude, isn't it? Underused. Yeah. Let me see. We got an interesting um, question from Christopher. Should I be? Should I wait until later for this? Or uh, he is asking um, if there is or will be a way to attach mobile created audio or video to a cultural narrative or description field. Um, so the way we're managing this right now wouldn't allow that because you're adding media and that goes into the media field of a digital heritage item. Um, but that's um, that's something that we're, we want to have and make easier because it's already there but it's almost it's 
difficult to use in Mukuru CMS. So it will be possible in Mukuru CMS, and I don't see why we wouldn't want that in Mukuru Mobile in the future. Um, right now, you know, we tr we try to make it very straightforward and very um, simple. So you have media, and then you have the descriptive fields that refer to the story rather than um, the single media. Um, but that's a good plan. <laughs> and um, a couple of you were also working on the Mukadu mobile demo site, so we see a picture of what a fantastic cat. Awesome. <laughs> that um, always works, right? Sandy's cat, and I think Christopher might have uploaded this one. And you can also log into the Premiere site um, through the app as well using your Premiere. Um, premier.mukadu.org login. Right. So you'll just have to use uh, whatever login you would use on the site and then put um, premier.mukadu.org in the URL box once you're log once when you're logging in. So yes. That was great. <laughs> awesome. And then we have this one too. Michelle. Yes. DC. Oh, you put a lot of media on it. Look in the big That's description. Great. Even the frogs. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> With a new gene. So yeah, Sandy was asking, um, was wondering about logging in to one side or the other. The reason why we log we only log in to one side is that, you know, the communities and cultural protocols come are fetched from the website so um, it's you it's unique and and once you log out if you haven't uploaded your content that the content that you still have on your device will be deleted um, and we added this feature in 2.0 because if you logged out and your content would still be there you know sensitive information such as your groups um, and everything else will still be available to someone who isn't logged in. So we didn't want that to happen. Um, but if you logged out by mistake, don't worry about your media because they're all still available. The original version, which is the highest quality available um, version of your media, is still on the phone. And that, and that includes um, pictures taken from within the app. Uh, and that includes audio. So even if you didn't upload, um, your item with audios or something happened, you deleted it, the audio will still be there. And I find that really reassuring because it happens that I have to log out to try the demo site or something, but I recorded a really nice concert at dinner <laughs> or something. So I, I'm, I, I'm sure that I never um, lose my media. And of course, for pictures and videos that I import from my gallery, the original file will still be there in my phone. So it might. Uh, Eleanor, I wanted to ask you again about um, the videos. Uh, uh, it's a question that I wrote to you last night, and that's if the video is not created on your device um, and it's not in your photos, your photo collection, 
on your device, um, is it impossible to for Mukatu Mobile to find it? Are you thinking? Is she gone? Sorry, I think I was muted. Um, oh. I think you were using iOS, right? You're using iOS. Yes, iOS. How it should be it should work in iOS is that you have the photo roll, which includes all media, including the media that you've downloaded from the web or that you've otherwise transferred to your device. Um, I don't know specifically about like Bluetooth transferring or something else, but like downloaded videos should all be there. So I transferred it with yeah. your iTunes. Um, yeah, so you should be able to see it. If you don't see it, what I would suggest is, you know, j you just upload it through the browser uh, from your origin, um, from the original device. Um, yeah, you just upload the story with other medias or with no medias and then you add it. You can always do that if you're not able to transfer it to the device. Oh yeah, into the so, site. Yeah, uh, photos and videos. When you do, when you select add media and then choose photo or choose video, that is not that doesn't take you to different folders. That should only be a filter that the application uses to display media, and that's the same kind of filter that other applications use, like Facebook or WhatsApp or any other sharing um, media sharing application. So. You know, if there's something that doesn't work right in that, it's the iOS component that um, we can we can't do much about. Uh, but videos mm. here is not a specific folder; it should be a filter that shows you all the all of the videos there. So it can be that maybe because of the format, if it was taken on a different device, once you import it, maybe it's a format that iOS doesn't recognize as a video, something like that. Um, so if you think it's YouTube ready, <laughs> what I would suggest is you just create your story with every other field and any other media that you want to add to it and then from wherever you have the video stored, you upload it. Download yeah. it to the to the website itself. Yeah, if you have it on your computer, you right. just log into the, yeah. to the site through the browser and you edit the item and add the video. That's right. Something you can do. And um, Julie asked a, a question about the extra files in the Millie office. Um, um, so there's um, two ways to associate media items um, in Mukuru. Um, so if you have any content that should be under a stricter protocol, um, you should be creating a separate story or um, digital heritage item in Mukuru mobile for them so that they can be under that protocol. Um, so if, if some of these uh, media items should be public and some of them should be under um, another sharing protocol um, to be shared within a specific community, I would definitely create another digital heritage item and put those media on, under that digital heritage item with a, a different sharing protocol. Um, and then once you go in to edit the digital heritage item, you can then relate um, relate the, that item back to this main item. So you're actually creating a different record by creating a different digital heritage item. Um, so we can look at episode four live. This is one that Michael created. So this episode four live has its own cultural protocols and communities and metadata. And then he's gone in to edit the item and within this screen, you can relate any item within the site that you have access to. So, and it just autofills. So you can just start typing the name and save the relation. And that way, each of these items can, can have its own metadata as well. So, so this item has a media item and a related item. And we can look at those. It is 12 o'clock. <laughs> Time flies. And Helen, you said you uh, created three items, but you're not seeing them on the site. Did you um, perhaps create them in the Mugadu mobile site? No. Nope. Um, browse. Let's see. And 
have you uploaded those? So the final step would be to go back to um, when you created a number of stories, you should, uh, warning, yes, exit. Mm. Press the upload button right down here to pull those items from your mobile app to the site. If you can still see them on your mobile, on your device, your mobile device, then they haven't been uploaded. But if they've been uploaded, then they should be on the site that you logged uh, in. You know what? If, um, if you added a, a video, the video might not be available, but the story should be there. So try double check which site you have logged into and try and refresh. Because if they're not on the, on the app, they should be on the site. If she, Usually, she should be voted in the cultural protocol, which she's not allowed to allowed into um no you wouldn't be able to see a cultural protocol that you are not allowed oh, right. okay um all right all right thank you all for visiting um this episode of Mukuru mobile webinar. Um, it was great to have you all and um, have some discussion around media formats and such. Um, I'd just like to invite you again to our next webinar. Um, we're hoping to have special guest Canopy Studios. Um, we're still waiting for them to confirm with us, but um, either way, we'll be doing an engineering update next week and talk a little bit about the Mukuru community um, and possible future uh, releases. All right. Thank you all for being here. And um, Helen, I would love to talk to you um, in just a moment. I'll, I'll send you an email. All right. Thanks again. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Mm -hmm.